Hello everyone. Let's take a look at the code um, 1778, short is passing a hidden grid. So um, this is locked um, problem and uh, it's actually um, also a very common pro problem and there are many duplicate problems like this previously. So it's a very typical BFS problem. That's, um, but the uh, interesting part is this is uh, an like interactive problem. So you are given a robot in a hidden grid and it wants to go to a target cell in this grid. If the grid is of size n multiply n and each cell in the grid can be empty or blocked. It's guaranteed that the start point and the robot's destination are different and neither of them is blocked. So we want to find the like, minimum distance like from the robot to the target cell. However, we don't know the grid's dimensions or the starting point of the robot or its target positions. We are only allowed to ask queries to the grid master object. So we don't have the grid directly. They just give it, uh, they give it indirectly and we need to build it ourselves through this object. Let's take a look at the object. So three interfaces. One interface is can move. So we can check if we can move upward or move down, move left, move right. Another function is move. It, it, it move up, move right. For example, if the right cell is blocked, move right is a no op. And its target function, only in the target cell, this function will return true for others, it's all returning false. So direction uh, takes function uh, parameters like U, D, L, R. So the problem is return the minimum distance between the robot's initial starting cell and its target cell. If there is no such pass, we return negative one. Okay, so for the um, te test cases, like for the testing purpose, it um, defines that ne uh, negative one is robot, two is the target, zero means it's blocked, one means it's empty. Okay, so for this, let's take a look at this example, one, two, negative one, zero. So the uh, left bottom corner is a robot. The so right top corner is target. So at first, the robot is at the left bottom cell. So we can check and can move UDLR and we can move up. And uh, we can call must.move to move up. Now we are in the left top cell and we can check its target to return false. And we can move right. So we can call move R, then we to the right top cell and we can check its target, which return false. And we know the shorted path to the target is two in this case. So there, there are some other examples you can take a look. And the constraint is, uh, the size of an M is at most 500. Okay, so let's take a look. Since there are no much su uh, submissions, so it's very easy to get 100% since there are not too much um, points. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, implementation. This is just uh, like some hard coded to define the directions. And uh, we know the dimensions in mode 500, so we define grid as 1001. Okay, here I place my center at uh, 501 here. So we place the robot at the center and then we construct the the grid. Initialize them as ne negative one. And for the um, center point, I set it to zero here. Now we ignore this function for this is to build the two dimensional grid. Let's take a look at this code. This is a very traditional BFS. We have a queue and we have a, a visited. I use this grid as a visited. We set it to zero as visited here. And at first distance is one. While the queue is not empty, I get size of the current queue. Since four source elements, they have the same distance. So I use level travel so I iterate those queue size and get the current element, pop it, and try the four directions for each direction. And if the new neighbor uh, is two, which means this is target, we can just return distance. If the value is less or smaller than zero, 
which means it's already be visited or it's a like non reachable point. So we just continue. Otherwise we set it to visit it and push a new point to our queue. And uh, we increment distance here. If we cannot find such a path, we return active one here. Okay, let's take a look at how we implement this construct grid. So we need to pass master to this function. First, we set the grid to one, which means it's empty. If it's target, we set it to two, which means it's target. Then we try four directions here. For each direction, if it's not negative one, we just continue. For example, if it's zero or one or two, which means they are all, they all have been visited, we just ignore them. Otherwise, we try the direction. If, if it can move, we can move it, but don't forget to move it back. Otherwise, it will affect other four uh, other branches. So we need to eliminate the effect. For example, we move we move up here, then we need to move down. Okay. So here, for one for each direction, we move to that direction, and we recursively construct the grid. Okay. That's it. So uh, it's the so interesting part is it's an uh, in interactive problem and we need to build the grid ourselves. Other than that, it's a very typical uh, sh finding shortest path in grid um, problem. Okay, that's it. See you next time.